promised in this video we're going to talk about the trade-off along the PPF. Now every choice along the PPF curve involves a trade-off. On a real-world uh, PPF, we can only produce more of, uh, more of one good or service only if we produce less of some other good or service. So if you want to produce more burgers, then we have to produce less bars. Then that means that all trade-offs involve a cost. That is the opportunity cost. Now, let's just go through this graph to really understand how opportunity cost works. And remember, the opportunity cost of an action is the highest uh, valued alternative for gone. And the PPF makes this idea precise and enables us to calculate opportunity cost. Along the PPF, there are only two goods, so there is only one alternative for gone. So for example, the cost of producing an additional, uh, an additional burger is the, is the energy bar that we must forego, uh, vice versa for additional, uh, additional uh, energy bars. So uh, let's just go through this. So as you can see, I've labeled uh, all the all the points A, B, C, D, E, F, and let's just write down that. Let's just note down that as we move. Let's just note down that as we move down, as we move uh, down along uh, the PPF the PPF. We make more burgers. We make more burgers. Um, but uh, but we but we also make less bars. Um, yeah, and the opportunity cost of a burger is the bar, and I'm sure you already know that by now because I've been seeing it for so long. So, yeah, let's go on with the example. So, and let me change colors and test to see if this color, this color is still blue. Change it back to Kn. So, let's look at these two points, E and F. Now, let's move down from, uh, from E to F. And let's note this down as we move along. Move, uh, move from E to F. And when we move from E to F, we can see that our burgers increased from 4 million to 5 million. So our burger quantity, our burger uh, quantity, quantity increased increased uh, by 1 million increased by 1 million but that is not all we can also see that by increasing our burgers our bars fell fell down from 5 million uh, to zero bars fell um, bars fell 5 million So what this essentially means is that um, to make one burger, to increase our production of one, uh, one million more burger, we have to give up five million bars. Or essentially, if we divide that by um, a million, we get one burger equals, or no, no, it's not equals, one burger costs five bars, five bars. Now let's go the other way and let's switch colors just to indicate that and I'll switch to purple. So purple, let's go the other way. Let's go from burgers. Let's go from F to E. So move from F to E. So when this happens, um, what happens is our burger quantity, our burger quantity will uh, decrease. Burger quantity goes down by uh, 1 million, by 1 million. And our bars, 
our bars increased by five million. So it went from zero to five. And it's a million, so bars increased five million. So bars increased five million and burgers went down one million. And that's right. So the opportunity cost, the opportunity cost of five million bars, five million uh, five million bars is one million burgers is one million burgers so so let's just so pretty much the upper so pretty much one uh, bar costs one fifth of a burger because if we divide so 5 million and 1 million, if we divide it by um, 5 million, and if we divide bars and burgers by 5 million, so 5m uh, costs uh, 1m, that's 5m bars cost 1m burgers, and if we divide both sides by 5 million, both by 5 million, that is pretty much saying that uh, 1 bar one bar costs uh, one fifth of a burger. One fifth of a burger. Of a burger. And that's how I got one bar costs one fifth of a burger. So that's all I want to go uh, through today. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you haven't already, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time where we'll talk more about. Uh, op using opportunity cost and how uh, op how opportunity cost is used as a ratio. So yeah, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.